Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of TuberCraft. I seem to have connected glass textures off. Um, give me a moment. Okay, that's better. Anyway, this is a villager breeder that you never watch me build. It has two villagers in it, and they keep throwing fruit at each other, but I haven't gotten a baby yet. So, I think, like, uh... A problem may be the fact that there's glass above the beds. Hold on one second. Okay, so I moved the glass up by a lot. I wonder if that'll do anything, but these villagers don't seem to be breeding. I think they need more food, so I think that it's time to expand my little farm. Oh, wait, I'm... What? What? Wait, what? There, you're not supposed to be down there. Come on, what happened? Why are you there now? Okay, so how do I get these annoying guys out of here? I think first step is to um, dig a hole like that. Well, what I'm wondering is like the moment I take them out of their little area, like they start loving each other. Which is uh, annoying. Okay, yes. Uh, so, first step, I guess, get them in the... Did I really only bring one minecart with me? Guess I'll have to do this one villager at a time. So, oh, look, they're having some breeding particles. Oh, wait, is that... Uh, Baby? Did, did they make a baby? I think they just made a baby. Yes. Our first baby. Yes. Oh, there's another baby, but it spawned in the wrong place. Uh, this is probably very wrong, but uh, my villager breeder won't work if I don't do it. That's probably my biggest excuse. There. Okay. No more random baby villagers. Anyway, with that all taken care of, I think it's time I get started on this um, villager trading area thing. It's not really going to be anything special. It's just going to have villagers and minecarts. Or actually, maybe not. They won't be. And I'm going to use minecarts to bring them there, but there's just going to be like tiny little boxes. Like, here, let me show you what I mean. So we have a little box like this. Actually, it's going to have to be one block thicker like that. Perfect. Then we have a block of smooth stone there. It needs a roof also. If I want to change the workstation or whatever, I can like just mine a little hole out like this or something. Oh no, they're breeding again. Why can't you wait to breed? Like, seriously, I don't want you to have a baby right now. It seems like they both respawned in the correct place. Which is perfect. Okay, so now what I do is I break this. Break the rail under the minecart if I can find it. It's right there. And then I break the minecart somehow. I forgot that babies could run through one block gaps and I accidentally punched him with my sword, so, um, here, um, I don't need you, really. There we go. So, that baby is not here anymore, and I can break that block. That experiment failed, I think we can say. Failed pretty miserably. Anyway, I need a lot more farming space, and, like, a lot more, so I'm going to flatten out this area and plant some carrots. 
or well, other crops, I guess. Because those villagers, they're going to need to make more villagers. So I finished the farm. Here it is. As you can see, there is room for some new crops. It's definitely a lot bigger, but I need to go back over to the village for right now. So here is my baby villager. I also got a resource pack that makes the smooth stone here a lot less ugly because, let's face it, it was really ugly, but now it looks a lot better. Anyway, I have some more melons and pumpkins to give to the farmer villager who is right here still. I also think that these guys still need more food, even though I gave them some before, but... I don't really have that much food right now. I mean, there's a few carrots and potatoes here, but that's pretty much it. Oh my goodness, why is there a giant dirt tower? What is this? Do not press this button. Hold on. TNT. Oh yeah, well, it's free TNT. I mean, I'll take that. Oh, oh how much TNT is there here? Well, okay, the giant dirt tower is still there, but that's like a bunch of TNT. 60 TNT blocks, which I will gladly take. It seems like someone was definitely here. They sheared the leaves and they just put a bunch of birch logs stacked up on top of each other. I have no idea what's going on. Was this chest always here? Um, I really don't think so. It's just a random empty chest. I also feel like someone's been using my armor equipper, maybe, because I don't really remember that ever happening, but I have too much iron, so it's not really that big of a deal. I also think that it is finally time to convert these iron ingots into blocks, because, well, I really have way too much and it's going to overfill these chests if I don't do anything about it. When it's in block form it really doesn't seem like as much but that's still enough to power a beacon and then some. Now I'm going to give the TNT back. My farm, I got some stuff from it but apparently I don't get to keep the TNT so I'm going to give the TNT back but I'm in block form, not just like put in a chest. Just gonna like make a giant box. Okay, so here it is. Um, there's a few holes in it, but then I'm just gonna put some random buttons on it. And then this is mine now, I believe. So, now with that out of the way, I think it's time to go back to the village. Hopefully I don't fall like four times, okay, that, uh, oof. Okay, well now I have a water bucket on me, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. And also, to make things even better, villagers buy iron for the very good price of four iron for one emerald. Okay, so here are these villagers. Have you grown up yet? Yes, you have. Anyway, I gotta give these villagers, if I can get up here, more food because they're constantly hungry when they're breeding. I'm getting love hearts already, yes. It's night now, that means go to some random house, at the, this random house right here. Nope, this is my bed now, thank you. Anyway, so I seem to have some villagers, they... This villager is picking up a lot of food. I should probably add a hopper connected to a chest. And I also want to make some villager job sites. So smithing tables, um, grindstones, and one more, blast furnaces. So I've crafted 10 smithing tables, 10 grindstones, and 10 blast furnaces. Those are the workstations for the three villagers I'm going to be needing most because they sell enchanted diamond stuff. Now this is going to be pretty tricky 
because, well, I, I'm not even going to be doing that yet. Also, I think this villager, in theory, should be able to be minecarted. Yes, and he seems to have already taken the composter. Okay, now this villager is trapped in here, and in order for me to just, like, change the... Oh, I think I just got another baby. I think I'm just gonna let these guys escape. Like, I'm gonna have a lot more baby villagers in the future. Let's see, maybe I'll be able to do this without them escaping. What? I lost a hopper, darn it. Well, now all the baby villagers can just escape, and that's annoying. So, now I get to run all the way back to my base. I came all the way back here. First, I seem to accidentally have performed a duplication glitch on the carrots, like the stack duplicated. Then the stack went away, and it was replaced by that hopper I lost, which is odd. So, now I will let these baby villagers out. They, um, can't really get out, so... Okay, I actually have some rails, so I can trap these villagers in the minecarts, or something, yes, like that. Okay, we got another villager, awesome, but at the same time also not awesome because I was planning on putting a carpet right here. Oh no, I accidentally let this villager out. Oh, I'm, I, I should it. I'm bad at Minecraft. You are about to be amazed by the complexity of my plan. There it is. Then I can just put a carpet on top like that. Then maybe break that rail. And there we go. That's it. I really don't know why I thought I could have a carpet here. Because, like, this is where the composter is going to be going. Right there. So it's actually kind of smart. You break it, comes back in this chest, and then you can replace it. Just repetitively, over and over. It seems like this villager has decided to come back. Or not, okay. Yep, in there. Thank you. The only issue with this design is, of course, the villager sometimes likes to run around and then it will kind of block the space that I'm able to place this. But there's another really easy solution to this problem. Then with that, I don't even need that hopper. I can just... Put a block of dirt there instead. So this design actually works pretty well. No mobs can get in. I can easily trade with it. And I can easily replace the workstation. Or job site. Whatever it's called. So I think I'd call that a success. I just need to clear out my inventory. It's gotten a little jumbled up. It's pretty um, messy. Most of this farm is also grown. Not anymore, though. Okay, there we go. I think I'm all set to do a ton of villager stuff. I also am going to need lecterns. I'm a nice person. I'm not going to kill cows. But I need some leather to make three books for a bookshelf. Turns out I didn't need to kill that cow. I already had three leather. Okay, now I have the one lectern I need for... To buy bookshelves. Oh, perfect timing. I come here and the villagers are having love hearts. I just realized though I should probably replace this block with iron bars and this block with, um, I really don't know. Anyway, this guy seems to be buying pumpkins, which I like. And melons, which is perfect. I have a little bit of a problem. This villager thinks that this composter belongs to him. So, and when I placed it, yeah, so I'm gonna have to burn it out. 
Okay, so now that this villager is not here, maybe now this villager will finally claim this job site and be stock. Yes. And now this guy. 15 coal for one emerald and... Okay, I guess today I'm buying a lot of stone axes. I really don't need any of these, so I can just burn them. And then... Three iron ingots for an emerald. Insert happy this is you noises here. So I'm just gonna bring, um, this iron because it'll lock out at some point. That's probably too much. I probably crafted up way too many iron bars. I'm going to put some in my iron chest. Okay, so now I do that. And also replace the iron the, with iron bars because it really should be iron bars. Okay, so here is iron pickaxe with efficiency 3. And, okay, it locks out after three trades, okay. Okay, so now, don't need my iron axe anymore. First one in the diamond set. Finally. I think I'm going to have to dismantle this house because it's kind of in the way. Also, yeah, I have this iron pickaxe with efficiency 3. It's better than my old iron pickaxe, so I'm gonna use it. So now I build another villager cell. Well, this is mildly annoying. Neither of these villagers want to get in the minecart. Yes, yes, silk touch pickaxe. Okay, I'm not needing that anymore either. I'm still kind of annoyed that neither of these villagers want to get in the minecart though, but I'm happy because now I have a diamond pickaxe and a diamond axe without spending a single diamond. I kind of have a feeling that these villagers need more food now because they don't seem to be throwing anything at each other. Okay, villagers, here you go, more food. So I managed to get this villager out using some techniques that it didn't hurt the villager at all, surprisingly, but why do these guys keep becoming farmers? What? It also always seems to be this guy's composter for some reason. Here, you will have a grindstone. Okay, so this guy is selling iron axes, so I guess I'll just drop them on the floor again. Um, I don't really have enough emeralds, though. Oh, wait, never mind. This guy restocked. Okay. And this guy lowered his prices. And my inventory is full. This guy's workstation chest just seems to be the junk chest. This guy's also buying iron. This is Amazing. Also, I just realized I did something pretty stupid. It's minor, but it's stupid. I mined these blocks away, like these were glass blocks, even though I had silk touch. I forgot I had silk touch, so I just broke those instead. Eh, I have enough iron. It's okay. Okay, so you also seem to be selling diamond axes. I'm going to repurpose that iron shop I made earlier that no one wanted. It's now going to sell diamond tools for one diamond less for than what it would cost to make them. Diamond shovels would still be one diamond, though. I can still use this grindstone to disenchant these and get a little more XP, too. Waiting for villagers to resupply their trades is like just one of the most annoying, tedious things in Minecraft. Now the crazy thing is, one of the things that helped me out with getting all this diamond stuff is a nitwit villager. They actually have a purpose. Okay, um, hello? Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Um, please let me kill you. Oh, that is so pathetic.
Well, that's annoying. I lost all of my XP, or, well, most of it, anyway, which is really annoying. And now, I have a sword as well. Diamond, diamond pickaxe, diamond sword, diamond axe. They may not have the best enchantments, but of course I can re-enchant them because this is these are like really good prices. Like my iron farm is generating iron, so I'm basically I'm getting diamonds from iron. This is also my last minecart. I'm gonna have to go back and get more after this. Oh hey, this villager actually isn't turning into a farmer. Awesome. Yay. Okay, so you will become an armor if I can, like, get you away from the space I have to place this block. There. Oh no, you've gotten the wrong job. Now I have to break this workstation and then replace it. I don't know if it's required to get the villager out of the minecart, but I'm doing it anyway. I think these villagers need more food because they keep throwing them at each other, but they're not really having any breeding particles. I'm glad I actually have a use for my extremely large quantities of iron now, because I really didn't have any other purpose for it. It looks like some of my crops have grown so I'm just gonna like I'm gonna break and replant all the ones that have grown oh look this guy is now selling boots which are less expensive yay it's also time I finish dismantling this house okay so I've got a little more food for these guys I mean like it really it isn't that much but it's something oh yeah there's also this farm over here that I made and of course this one, I'm just going to replace all the crops with carrots, and I hear a zombie somewhere. Must be underground. Oh yeah, and also here's two loaves of bread that I managed to get for you. Yay, my iron finally has a purpose of some type. I mean, like, that iron, this iron is, like, very overpriced, but I have too much of it anyway. It seems like I'm going to have to use melons and pumpkins as a source of emeralds now. Ugh. I'm one trade short of the villager leveling up. I'm one emerald short of being able to trade with him. I'm one melon short of getting an emerald. And actually, I think I'm two melon slices short of getting another melon. Why is what I'm asking right now. Why, 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 why? Oh, yay, now I can buy more boots. I also collected a little bit of grass, and I figure I might as well do this. Um, what level is it at? Okay, there, I got a piece of bone meal out of that. Okay, it seems as I can buy chain armor now. Not really interested in that. However, it seems like the prices for iron are going down. So, I'll buy some of that, and now I can buy, um, these are more expensive, and I can get them at a better price now, so. Yeah. One lava bucket for one emerald seems like kind of an interesting trade. I'm going to be AFK for a little while, just so I can let my farms work. So I was AFK for a little bit. It wasn't really that long, but some of my crops grew. I've also gotten a little bit of iron, which is, that's good also. I've farmed a few pumpkins and a few melons. It seems like someone, it, that spot is already occupied. Here. Take, take some ra rails. There. Um, why am I not just giving them to him like that? More emeralds for me. Even more emeralds for me. Oh, and these guys, iron for emeralds prices are like amazing. Yay. 
Okay, so that guy wants lava buckets, so luckily I do have some buckets of lava. Well, yeah, now I do. Mm, glad there's a lava lake nearby. Now it actually has two purposes. The other one was that nether portal back in episode... Wait, was this... Was this ravine always here? I... What? How have I never noticed this before? Okay, so now I give this guy lava buckets at a ridiculously slow pace. And now here comes the diamond armor. Pants first, and I can actually also buy boots. There seem to have been some villagers that broke out. I have enough iron to trap one of you, sorry, but you're going to be left out. This chest is just gradually filling up with chainmail leggings. Okay, this guy should be... Yes. Diamond armor, yay, except I really... I. Why does this keep happening? I'm one diamond short of... Uh, I... Why does this keep happening? I'm one emerald short of... A diamond helmet. Well, while I'm waiting to get more diamond armor, I figure I can get another villager in here. Always carry a flint and steel on you in case annoying villagers start stealing other villagers' job sites. Now is a great time to buy iron. Both villagers seem to have low prices. Yay. And with that, I can buy a diamond helmet. And now I have more emeralds, which means diamond chest plate as well. So now I actually look like a pro minecrafter with fully enchanted diamond armor and enchanted diamond sword and golden carrots. Of course, they're not exactly the best enchantments, but I can enchant them. Also, I think that this... Yes, I can get my minecart back. And now I get to buy more stone pickaxes. Yay, another villager that's buying iron, although I don't really have that much iron to sell, so I think I'm just going to leave this guy at this for the time being. Yes, I do know I do have a lot of iron to sell, but I mean... I'm going to wait for my farm to generate a little more iron. Actually, I'm just going to sell those two irons. I'm going to limit the amount of iron that I can take from this farm. I'm, I'm going to limit myself so that I can only trade with villagers the iron that I have available to me in this farm. And by that, I mean like... The iron that's in this chest currently. The other iron, well, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so with that out of the way, I'm going to do a little more trading. And this actually does seem like a pretty good deal. I get a diamond hoe for like four emeralds. It's actually really good. I mean like a diamond hoe is made out of two diamonds. So I guess this means I'm going to do a bunch of buying of diamond hoes, except I can't. And now they go into the random junk pile. Oh yay, unlock the trades. And I think locks out at 3, which is the perfect amount to get that guy to the next level. That's not really my preferred trade, so I think I'm instead just going to buy a bunch more emeralds using iron. Sorry about that, but now I get, um, Unbreaking 1. Okay. So that villager was kind of unsuccessful, but the next villager in my cell is going to be a librarian. I am really loving this villager trading hall design. It's super easy, and it works really well, too. Well, there's certainly a lot of villagers in there. Okay, so I place down the lectern. And then I come over here, fortune one, not exactly the best, 
I mean, like, Fortune's good and all, but it's a level 1 enchantment, and it's not exactly what I'm looking for. This villager has not realized that his job site has been removed yet, which is weird. Oh, okay, yeah, he has realized. This, on the other hand, Silk Touch for 10 emeralds and a bookshelf for 9 emeralds, that I am definitely going to be taking. Okay, so I'm gonna buy a Silk Touch book. Um, right, yeah, I need more emeralds than that. Okay, now, uh, so, so I just buy from that guy, then I buy from this guy, then I buy from this guy, and now I'm a third of the way to having a full level 30 enchantment table. And speaking of level 30 enchantment tables, yeah, I'm at level 30, just by trading with these guys. So I'm going to be going AFK for a little longer, so I can generate some more iron now. So I've been AFK in this hole right here for a little bit. And as you can see, it's like just right here. My iron farm has generated a little iron, it seems. But there's actually something I want to do that isn't on this server. Now, this episode, as you can probably see, is getting pretty long, so I'm actually just going to wait. You'll see what I'm doing in the next episode. I'll tell you a little now. It's called The Smooth. It's going to sell diamond stuff, basically. Smooth stands for stuff made out of diamonds. Oh my goodness, look at this. Like, the frame rate, frame rate it's terrible, but it just makes up for it. So much, this looks amazing. Look at this, just wow. Everything, nothing has ever looked this great. This is this is not Minecraft. This is not Minecraft as we know it. My little bunker down here, like it doesn't look quite as bright, but. This is amazing. Now I'm going to take that screenshot for episode 6. I do have to have my render distance at 4 chunks in order for it to like not be super laggy. My frame rate is, well, it was faring pretty well. I turned off shout shadows and that seems to have made my nether portal look terrible. I have no idea where that came from, but even with shadows off, this looks amazing, and my frame rate is still doing pretty bad. Okay, so I've rewatched some of the footage. The frame rate actually isn't too bad, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Well, at least for the rest of this video. Also, you heard how I said earlier, I changed my mind I didn't want to do smooth, right? Well, I changed my mind again, and smooth is coming back. Hello there, Mr. Zombie Pigman. What are you doing in my farm? Also, for some reason, chunk borders don't appear to show when this shader pack is on, which is kind of weird. The weird thing is, the nether, it really doesn't look too different. The lava does, like, have a super amazing looking glow, and it looks a little glitchy right there. Anyway... It's going to require a lot of glass to build this shop, so I figure it would probably be worthwhile to get efficiency on my shovel. Like, what else is cool about this? Like, look, the nether portal casts a shadow on the house, which I just love. And, like, look, you can see, like, the sunbeams, like, casting through that. I'm just going to stop talking about how amazing it looks, because you can probably see it. And it works on, like... Any graphics card, I think, so I'll put the link in the description to the shader pack. Look at this. The individual rays of light are passing through the leaves. This frame rate, actually, it's not really that much worse than my usual frame rate. Now, my usual frame rate is pretty bad, but still, it isn't that much worse. And, like, seriously, just look at this. It's beautiful. 
Okay, Mr. Last Remaining Villager here, which reminds me, after I pick this guy up, I should probably breed more of them. Okay, so now comes the part where I just keep repeatedly placing and breaking the lectern. I have a troubling obsession with just, like, zooming in and watching all the leaves and grass and plants and stuff just sway side to side. I love how it looks. It's also like that with crops. I was kind of half expecting for it to work with cacti, but cacti don't seem this way at all. I'm mean, like, do you usually see cacti swaying, but... Okay, dead bushes don't really do that either. I think dead bushes should, though. Okay, I have a question for you. Why would someone buy a Curse of Vanishing book for 34 emeralds? Oh, like, really, why? I know I was trying to get efficiency, but, oh, this is such a good trade. Okay, here we go. My sword. Looting three. Boom. This villager is buying paper, and it looks like I have some sugarcane that's grown. I'm going to be using half of it into, well, I guess, like, so... I will use 36 into expanding this little shoreside farm because villagers buy 24 for an emerald. And I have 24 put aside for that. I should probably also give more carrots and potatoes to these villagers, so here are my crops. Here they are now. And here they go. And, like, moments after that, we got our first baby. Well, not our first baby, but our first baby right now. Oh my goodness, so I just, like, casually, I picked up and threw an egg. It spawned four chickens! Like, there's, there's a one in 256 chance of that happening. I just randomly picked up and casually threw an egg. Four chickens came out. Crazy! So, because, like, my sugarcane farm, that is not rendering, because it's, like, taking forever to grow sugarcane, I'm doing what I, what is a very, um, me-ish thing to do. Get it from other people. Person Gavrock seems to have one piece of sugarcane in his base, which isn't really worth taking. I haven't actually been here yet when the shaders are on. First of all, I'm having horrible FPS. Well, 10 seems to be, like, normal. But, seems to be a lot laggier than usual. Like, a lot. I'm, I, like, yeah, but... This looks insanely awesome with shaders on. Whoa. Also, bamboo would be nice. I'll take one piece of bamboo. Or, actually, maybe just one from here. I'll look, like... This looks, this also looks really good. I'll just take that one right there. Oh, look at what I found here. Uh, okay, I am not a robot or a mob. Push to gain entrance. Okay. Uh, what does that do? Okay, I turned off shaders temporarily. My game's smoother. Like, actually, it, yeah, it's smoother. But really, I'm only getting like, okay, um, 30 FPS. This is so smooth. Anyway, it's just like, so I can see what that push to gain entrance button does. So I push it. Then something happens. Okay, I think I, I have to take down those blocks. Because then that, this goes up. And then actually take down those as well. Because what's supposed to happen is these go up, you jump up. Okay, there wasn't really any sugar cane planted there. And so I guess I'll go to Person Guy Rock's starter, which is over here. Well, this is like the worst security system that ever exists. There's like damaged iron boots there, and like you can literally just walk through like that. I wonder if my bed is still up here. Okay, so now I sleep. There seems to be a chest here with 12 netherrack. Okay, that's odd. 
Okay, shaders seem to darken everything, so I've turned them off temporarily again. But there's like, there's 12 random netherracks sitting there. I wonder if there's anything else. I don't really think so, but this is a chest. How long does it take me to mine obsidian? Well, that was like a lot faster than I expected. Oh, this is a great chance to test out if my looting sword works. And it seems to. Like, I got two bones and three arrows from that, so I'm pretty sure that's a yes. Okay, there seems to be skeletons everywhere. Die. Thank you. I found the zombie in golden armor also, so I think with looting three, it has like almost a 50% chance to drop at least one thing, and it did. Okay, so there seems to be like a ton of sugarcane here. He actually hasn't realized what I did to his hopper yet, so um, I guess I'll take a little bit of that. Oh yeah, and this sugarcane would be wasted if I didn't take any of it. I guess I'll also take some of this. Only like the top row, though. Okay, I got a little bit of sugar cane from that. It'll go back. So, um, I... Is it stealing? I don't really know. Okay, so now that I have some paper, I can trade with the villagers. The walk over there has became a lot more enjoyable with shaders on now. Okay, Mr. Villager, sir. Here, I have more paper for you. And here is the lantern trade where I just buy lanterns. I have enough now to just like cover the top of each villager's villager thing, each villager's cell, whatever, with lanterns. I mean, like, I gotta have some use for them, right? Okay, now I wait for you to level up, like that. Impaling too, or I can give you more emeralds. Luckily for me, my pumpkin and melon farm has actually done a pretty good job of generating pumpkins and melons, as you can see. I have too many lanterns, so I guess I have some spruce slabs. There, I'd say that's better. And now I just craft a bunch of melons. Okay, so I have a ton, as you can see. And now I give them all to this villager. And also this villager. And then I get to buy glass, which actually is pretty useful. And it's at an okay price too. Oh yeah, and just so that you're aware, okay does not mean good. These compasses will become a lot more useful when the nether update comes out. Oh yeah, and now I get name tags. Oh, also by the way, good job social distancing as much as you can. Keep up the good work with that. <laughs> While I'm d waiting, I guess I should get rid of these weird random lumps that are just everywhere. Ooh, carrots. Here we go. So you can have more babies. And it looks like I'm getting love hearts. And more love hearts. Oh, I think another baby just arrived. I have no idea whatsoever where it is, though. So, yeah, I guess. Still social distancing? Keep up the good work. Anyway, I'm afraid that that's all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed this episode, then leave a like, and if you really liked it, then subscribe. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, and I'm still walking backwards. Okay, yeah, bye. Also, sorry in advance for the late release, because instead of editing, I'll probably just be staring at this beautiful water. It does look super realistic, doesn't it?